Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So the Echo Show 15 has finally been released. Mine actually just showed up today. So in this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing and first impression of what I think of it. What I want you guys to do is put your questions below and I will try my best to answer them when I do the full review on everything that this unit can do. Now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's see what comes in this box. All right, so here is what it looks like in the box. This is a beautiful display. It's huge. It's actually much bigger than I was expecting from this thing right here. We're getting a lot of glare out of it, sorry. We have also got a metal wall bracket. So this is something that if you want to put it on the wall, this is metal, so you're gonna be able to screw that in and then just slide this and attach it to the wall, so that's cool. We've also got the power plug. We've got our screws and wall anchors here, and then it looks like we have a mounting template. So what did not come in the box, but I did purchase separately, is this stand right here. So this stand is sold separately. It's about $30, but this is pretty cool because you can just have it lean up against here. I'll show you guys how this works here in a second. And you can also mount it to the back of the device if you want to do that. So speaking of the back of the device, let's take a look at it here. It looks like it is in set a little bit. Let's open it up, get it out of this plastic. So here is what it looks like. We've got our Power port right here. It looks like we also have micro USB back there. And then this is where the mount is going to mount up to. So we do have screw holes here for the mount, but that is what the back looks like. Here are the speakers, speakers on both sides of it right here. But now that we have seen what it looks like, let's go ahead and get this set up and start using it. All right, I wanna quickly show you this third party mount. So you do have to order this separately, but here is the mount itself. It just opens up right here. Kind of hard to open it up but you get that opened up all the way on the back here this does pop open so you can wrap extra cord back there so that is a pretty cool thing with this but if i go ahead and open it up you can screw on the back right here and it looks like if you do screw it in you can tilt it so it does have a slight tilt to it back there but if you don't want to screw it in you can just put the device right here like this it is a sticky pad right here so it won't slip and then you can adjust the angle from there. So you can either pretty much go full straight up and down, or you can tilt it if you want to get a better angle on it like that. And this is what it would look like here on the back. Okay, is this a mirror? No, it's not. I just don't have it plugged in yet, but this thing is absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and plug it in and go through the setup process, get this thing set up, and then just do an initial first impression of what this thing looks like. I am really excited about how big this is too. This is much bigger than I was expecting. I have the 10 inch Echo Show right now. The size on that one is okay, but I really like the picture frame look. I like the white border around it. Oh, that actually sounds better than I was expecting. One thing that I was worried about with this right here is that it doesn't have that big bassy speaker like the Echo Show 10 does. I was worried that it wouldn't sound as nice, but you can close the shutter up to here too. So if you notice that, you can turn the camera on and off. That slides really well too. It just feels very premium. It's not like a clicky like before. And then at the top, we've got volume up, volume down, and then we can mute uh, the device here too. So, all right, choose a photo display. Let's go with seasonal. Download, install, all updates. I am fine with that. Okay, we'll let this do this. It's gonna be about 10 minutes. It's gonna be about 10 minutes to do this update. And we'll come back and start playing around with it. All right, we'll go through and set up my profile now. So let's click on that. Voice ID and visual ID. Let's go ahead and do the visual ID. Set up. Add visual ID to this echo. Okay. Oh, here we go. To get started, look directly up, look to your left. Cool. We'll say that is everyone. All right, perfect. They can use the camera to monitor the house. We're going to go ahead and enable that. And we are all set. It is done. Amazon Sidewalk, typically I have been disabling these, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Disable there. And then we've got all of our little ads. I'm gonna say no thank you.
All right, so let's see here. Looks like we can swipe this over, introducing the widgets. All right, so here are the widgets all loaded up. We've got our photo frame playing in the background. So let's see here, if I click and tap on a widget, it'll allow us to either remove the widget, rearrange, or we can take a look at our widget gallery. So if I rearrange it, that is going to allow me to, let's see here. Oh, here we go, we gotta tap on these. And then we can rearrange it from there. Um, let's see, okay, we'll say done, and let's say the widget gallery. So what kind of widgets do we have going on here? Okay, so here are all the different things. We could take a look at commute, favorite photos, suggestions, calendars, very cool. These are definitely things that I wanna play around with. Smart home, that one's already on there. We've got shopping lists, weather, pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and add weather. That one seems like a, a pretty good one to add. Ooh, what to eat? Sure, why not? Oh, my deliveries? Yes, please. Okay, let's back out of here and see what happened to the home screen. Okay, so it popped it out even more. So that is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this just to get to familiarize myself with it and get to know it a little bit better. But uh, yeah, this thing seems pretty awesome. Like we saw, it's got a camera up here. You can do phone calls, different things like that. We can control our smart home from here. You can also scroll down from the top. We've got our different options, home setting, do not disturb. We've got alarms, check brightness, notifications, widgets, discovery, communication, music, smart home. So let's go ahead and bring up the smart home features right there and take a look at it. So it's got everything laid out, kind of like it is with the all the other Echo shows. I don't like how big and bulky this is. I wish that they could take better advantage of this real estate. Now I can go into certain devices right here and this will show everything. I can take a look at uh, you know cameras, lights, plugs, different things like that. If I click on the back button up here, I can go to different groups and this is going to be essentially different rooms. So backyard, garage, different things like that. I just wish that it used a better space up here. You can also click on your rooms and stuff up there. Uh, let's actually go back down here, go home. And um, let's see, one other thing I wanted to look at was video. So you can watch different videos on here too. And this looks like a beautiful screen to do that. So we've got Prime Video, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube. Oh, but that's open web. So it's not the actual YouTube app, very interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool to look through and get everything signed up and pick stuff. Um, let's let's see right here. Let's does this play? I haven't logged into anything yet, so I'm wondering if it's just using um, all of the subscriptions that I have for that I've logged in with the Echo Show 10. If everything is just using that that I've set up through the app, perfect. Let's go ahead and scroll. <laughs> All right, so that was a little sneak peek of the brand new Echo Show 15. I have to say that I absolutely love this device. I wasn't so sure with the Echo Show 10, the one that came on the speaker that rotated around, eh, that one was okay. I didn't really like the screen that much. This one's beautiful. I actually love this one. I love the look of the picture frame. It's going through picture frame mode right now. I love the look of this thing. This has the stand on it right here. You can wall mount it if you wanna do that also, but I am very impressed with it so far. Remember, whatever questions that you guys have about this device, let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer those during the full review of what this device is capable of. If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next video.